Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do something that's going to help us out, me and you. I'm going to go through the CDL. It's a test. So we're going to start with general knowledge. General knowledge, question number one. Merging onto a road is safest if you see, wait for a large enough gap in traffic to enter the road. Number two, what are the things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? C, precipitation distance, reaction distance, effective braking distance. Number three, you are checking your steering and exhaust system during the pre-trip. Inspect which of these problems, if found, should be fixed before vehicle is driven. C. Steering wheel play of more than 10 degrees, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Number four. How does a vehicle weight effect stopping? A. Empty trucks take longer to stop than loaded ones, but this is not always the case for buses. Number five. When the roads are slippery, you should... A. Make turns as gentle as possible. Number six, which of these is not a good rule when caring, when caring for injuries at an accident scene? C. Keep injured persons cool. Number seven, you are driving a straight level highway at 50 miles per hour. There are no vehicles in front of you and suddenly a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do? A. Stay off your brake until the vehicle has slowed down. All right. Number eight. After starting the engine, A, the cooling temperature gauges should begin a gradual rise to normal. Number nine. You are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You have to stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade, which of these is a good rule to follow when putting the vehicle back in motion up the grade? B, use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Number 10, which of these statements is true about speed management? C, when the road is slippery, it will take longer to stop and it will be harder to turn without skidding. Number 11, where must you keep shining, shipping, excuse me, shipping papers when transporting hazardous materials? B, in the pouch on the driver door or in the seat. Number 12, you should, have, you should use your mirrors to check C, where the rear of your vehicle is while making turns. Number 13, extra care is needed to keep your vehicle centered in your lane because commercial vehicles, A, are often wider than other vehicles. Number 14, which of these would pro probably, excuse me, not help if windshields were covered in ice? B, a brush. Number 15, which of these statements about causes of vehicle fires are true? C, poor trailer ventilation can cause cargo to catch fire. Number 16, the purpose of retarders is to A, help slow the vehicle while driving to reduce brake wear. Number 17, which of these is usually true about driving in hot weather? A, you should check tire mounting and pressure before driving. Number 18, which of these is usually true about driving in tunnels? B, there may be crosswinds when exiting. Number 19, when driving through work zones, you should see, watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Number 20, when passing another vehicle, pedestrian or bicycle, you should assume that, see, they may move into your traffic lane. Number 21, if you are not sure what to use to put out hazardous material fire, you should wait for qualified firefighters. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplane release the accelerator? Which of these is true regarding the use of drugs while driving? Prescription drugs are allowed if drugs 
will not affect safe driving ability. Now we're going to number 24. Which of these statements about brakes are true? The heavier a vehicle or faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop. You are driving a new truck with manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep, down grade hill? A lower gear that you would use to climb the hill. 26. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution in curves. Number 27. Which of these statements about marking a stop vehicle is true? If a hill or curve keeps drivers behind you from seeing the vehicle within 500 feet, the reflective triangle should be moved back to give adequate warning. Number 28. Which of these is true about rear wheel braking skids? On vehicles with trailers, the trailer can push the towing vehicle sideways. Number 29. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting is true? You should use you can use a tachometer to tell you when to shift. Number 30. Which of these is true about overhead clearance? The weight of the cargo can change the height of the vehicle. Number 31. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? 12 to 15 seconds or one-fourth of a mile. Number 32. If you need to leave the road due to traffic, due to a traffic emergency, excuse me, you should avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Which of these statements about backing a heavy vehicle is not true? Because you cannot see behind you, you should back slowly until you bump the dock. Not true. Which of these lights cannot be checked at the same time? Turn signal brake lights and four-way flashes. Which of these is correct about emergency or evasive actions? In order to turn quickly, you must have a firm grip on the steering wheel. Number 36. You are driving a vehicle that can safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road. But traffic is now heavy, moving at 35 miles per hour through the speed limit. If, throw the speed limit, excuse me, throw the speed limit is 55 miles per hour. The safest speed for your vehicle is most likely to be 35 miles per hour. According to the C, to CDL driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? It can startle other drivers. Which of these statements are true about bad weather and driving conditions? Weather, excuse me, when the temperature drops, bridges freeze before the road does. Wow. Now we're going to number 39. We're getting in there. To determine blood alcohol concentration, BAC, for a person, it is necessary to know how much the person weighs. What does emergency braking mean? Responding to a hazard by slowing the vehicle. Which of these happen when tire, bl tire blows on the highway at highway speed? Excuse me, a vibration field. Let me say that again. Which of these happens when tire blows out at highway speed? A vibration feeling. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry and visible. Invisibility is good, excuse me. What, what is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? Four seconds. Four seconds. Truck escape ramps. Truck escape ramps help avoid damages to vehicles. 
When hydraulic brakes fail, excuse me, while driving, the system will not build up pressure and the brake pedal will feel spongy or go to the floor. What action should you take? Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. Which of the following items are not checked in a pre-trip inspection? The amount of fuel in the vehicle. The amount of fuel in the vehicle. What, which of these systems should receive extra attention during a winter weather inspection? The exhaust. The exhaust. The total weight of a powered unit, trailer, and cargo is called gross combination weight. Gross combination weight. Which of the following statements are true? Most heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight at 6 a.m. Most heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight at 6 a.m. Controlled braking. It is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. It is used to keep a straight vehicle. Oh, excuse me. It is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. When a cooling container is part of a pressurized system, which of these is true? You can check the coolant level of a hot engine. You can check the coolant level of a hot engine. When the coolant container is part of a pressurized system, which of these are true? You can check the coolant level of a hot engine. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the distance of your headlights. You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water, but if you must, which of these steps can help keep your brakes working? Gently putting on the brakes while driving through water. Stab braking should not be used on vehicles with anti-lock brakes. Implied consent means, implied consent means you have given your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Which of these should be tested while a vehicle is stopped? Hydraulic brakes. If you have to make a vehicle inspection report, you must sign it when any defects are noted, whether they are certified to be repaired or not. Which of the following is not characteristic of a front tire failure? Vehicle fishtail. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel with both hands on the opposite side of the wheel? What is, a count, what is counter steering? Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid traffic emergency. The distance that should look that you should look, excuse me, ahead of your vehicle while driving amounts to one fourth of a mile at highway speeds. Why will your vehicle speed naturally increase on downgrades? Gravity. Which of these pieces of emergency equipment must always be carried in your vehicle? Warning device for parked vehicles. During a vehicle inspection, checking the blank will help prevent a fire. The battery fluid level. Battery fluid level. You should signal consistently, continuously, excuse me, while turning because you need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. Why is a broken exhaust system dangerous? Poisonous fumes could enter the cab or sleeper berth. You can see a marking on a vehicle ahead of you. The marking is a red triangle with an orange center. What does the marking mean? It may be a slow moving vehicle. It may be a slow moving vehicle. Most serious skids result from driving too fast for conditions. Driving too fast for conditions. When you are parked on the side of the road at night, you must turn on your four-way flashers to warn others. You do not have hazardous material endorsement on your CDL license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous material when the vehicle does not require placards. To avoid a crash, you had to drive on the right shoulder 
You are now driving at 45, excuse me, 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? Keep moving at the present speed and steer very gently back onto the pavement. We almost finished. We getting it though. We getting our study on it. <laughs> Let's get our CDL. Con containerized loads. Containerized loads are generally used when freight is carried part way by rail, ship, or air. Let's look at that again. Containerized load. This is one we got to remember. Are generally used when freight is carried part way by rail, ship, or air. In your mirror. You can see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror, you don't see the car. You wish to change lanes. You should wait to change lanes until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Whenever you double your speed, your vehicle has about four times more destructive power. Let me say that. Whenever you double your speed, your vehicle has four times more destructive power. You are starting your vehicle in motion from a stop as you apply power to the drive wheels. They start to spin. You should take your foot off the accelerator. Take your foot off the accelerator. Placards must be placed on all four sides of the vehicle. Placed on all four sides of the vehicle. Okay. A car cuts in front of you Creating a hazard. What should you not? What should you not do? Honk and slowly stay close behind the car. You should not do that. What should you do if you are unsure whether you have enough overhead clearance? Find another route that will require driving under the object. Find another route that will not require driving under the object. You are driving a heavy vehicle. You must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should slow down to a safe speed before the curve. You are driving a vehicle at 55 miles per hour on a dry pavement. About how much total stopping distance will you need to bring the vehicle to a stop? The length of a football field. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? Valve clearance. To escape ramp, oh, excuse me, truck escape ramps help avoid damage to vehicles. Help avoid damage to vehicles. On which fires can you use water on tires? What is the term for a commercial, ve commercial vehicle <laughs> habit of swinging wide on turns? Off tracking off tracking. Backing a commercial vehicle is always dangerous. Always dangerous. Convex, curved or spot mirrors show a wider area than the flat mirrors show. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through heavy rain. What can cause this when brakes are applied? Trailer jackknife. Let me read that again. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through heavy rain. What can cause this when Brakes are applied. Trailer jackknife. Got to be careful for that trailer jackknife. If you are being tailgated, you should increase your following distance. Increase your following distance. When driving in the cold weather, your tire tread should provide enough traction to be able to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Brake shoes should not have oil, grease, or brake fluid on them. For a first offense of driving a commercial vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs, you will lose your CDL for at least a year. A full stop at a railroad crossing is required when the nature of the cargo makes a stop mandatory under state or federal regulations. If you have a road emergency and must park on the shoulder, how soon should you put out the triangles? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 
You are driving on a two-lane road and an oncoming driver drifts into your lane. Which of the following is the best action to take? Steer to the right. Steer to the right. How often should you check your mirrors for lane change? Before changing lanes? After you have signaled? After you start the lane change? And after you complete the lane change? Let me say that again. How often should you check your mirrors for lane change? Before you change lanes? After you have signaled? After you have after you start the lane change and after you complete the lane change. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Tapping your horn when, fla when passing, flashing your lights, signaling, or using triangle. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Tapping your horn when passing, flashing your lights, signaling, or using triangles. Freeway exits can be dangerous for heavy vehicles. At what speed should you enter and exit at least five miles below the posted speed limit at least five miles below the posted speed limit when driving in heavy traffic you should travel at a speed consistent with the flow of other traffic the best drivers are those who watch for and prepare for hazard this is called being defensive if you are not sure what extinguisher to use on hazardous material fire, you should you should wait for qualified firefighters. Wait for qualified firefighters. All right, that's it for general knowledge. We got the first part done. We're doing general knowledge. I'll be back with the other parts. We're gonna look at you know we're doing Texas, so special requirements is not required for some of you guys, but uh, for my Texas people, I'm gonna do uh, that as well. Let's get this CDL. And let's pass. All right. Study to show themselves approved. Y'all be blessed. Let's get this money.